Friday, September 9th, 2016, engines are already running. The ocean warrior is about to depart, about to leave Antalya, Turkey. Listen to that sound. Can't wait till we get full speed. It's deafening already, and we're just idle, so this is one beast of a ship and it's about to hit the ocean, so very, very excited. The sun is bright, weather's calm. It'll be a fantastic trip. Hopefully we'll see some dolphins and some whales, so I'm ready for the first uh, time at sea. The final lines are coming off, so... <laughs> you want to hold? <laughs> yes. Wow. How's that for acceleration? <laughs> <laughs> this is beautiful. Yeah. We're going to clear the breakwaters and then uh, up we go to the ocean. Adios, Turkey. You know, it's kind of a shame to leave Turkey because we've been here for so long. Uh, the ocean warriors sailing out into the ocean. This is. It's a game changer for us and uh, for the uh, protection of wildlife. Uh, it's so excited. Witness the historical moment of the Jolly Roger going up for the first time. Welcome on the bridge of the Ocean Warrior. We're standing next to the captain's chair, and there's the chair of the quartermaster. Together they uh, they steer the vessel. You can see all the control panels here. 360 view, which is fantastic. And when you walk to the back of the ship, you see another chair, which is basically facing aft, and it has the same controls as the captain's chair. So you can take command of the ship right here, and there's the control panel of the water cannon. So you can actually, when an aggressive vessel comes too close. Uh, the captain can sit here and use the water cannon to keep them at a safe distance. 1400? So I think 1800 will be uh, full, right? Battle to metal. Battle to metal, yeah. We're going. Uh, yeah! <laughs> we just went past 30 knots and climbing. The area in which you are now is called the tank room. On both sides of this uh, small hallway, there's the fuel tanks uh, that gives us the range uh, to stay with the Japanese fleet for months and months. Uh, this is also the area where our main switchboard is located, uh, where all the electric systems of the ship uh, get their power from. From the tank room, we arrive in the main engine room. In the main engine room are the four engines located that supply us with a maximum top speed that far exceeds anything that our opponents uh, can normally put into the water. Coupled to one of the engines is the external firefighting pump, which in Sea Shepherd's speech is usually called the water cannon. We're about to start the water cannon and see what it can do at sea. Not even in the sun anymore. Blocking the sun. There's a lot of in the engine room, on port side and on starboard side, the generators that will supply us with the electric power needed uh, for our hybrid propulsion. Behind the main engine room is located the steering gear room. In this room, four pumps supply hydraulic power to put our two rudders in the position that is uh, required for them. This is also the location where our shore power comes in and the place that we will use for storage with all the spare parts that we need for long campaigns and long voyages. Oh 
question for you, everybody. Uh, question. Uh, you are a government ship? No, we are not a government ship. Uh, question. Uh, you are a warship? No, we are an uh, Antarctic patrol vessel. Okay, sir, understood. Stand by on channel 1 and 0. Let's bet to your pilots, let's bet to your pilots. This is Ocean Warrior, Papa Bravo 4400 on channel 14, over. Uh, best is going to be pilot guy. Yeah, good morning, sir. We're uh, coming inbound to uh, the Molo Italiano, right next to the Sam Simon, over. Oh yeah, there she is. I can see the Sam. And she's facing uh, the outward side to us, right there. Yeah, we're coming into uh, La Spezia Harbor. We got all the Italian volunteers waiting for us. And I'm sure they're going to be very excited to see the, uh, the latest addition to the Sea Shepherd fleet, the Ocean Warrior. <laughs> of the Ocean Warrior on the maiden voyage. It's been a long road to get here. It's been two years since we first submitted the proposal. Beginning 2015, we received a check from the postcode lottery. For 8.3 million euros. Then the building process started in Antalya, Turkey, 16 months, and here we are with a brand new vessel on the open waters. And the ship is just absolutely amazing. Everything about it exceeds our expectations. She's faster. It's just every second on board we've been enjoying. It's been fantastic. The weather's been great. What a maiden voyage. And now we're on our way to Hobart, Amsterdam. Amsterdam. I avoid an approach, I avoid an approach, I avoid an approach. This is the Ocean Warrior. Ocean Warrior, I avoid an approach. I avoid an approach. This is the Ocean Warrior. For information, we are one hour from the lock, one hour from the lock. Ocean Warrior, I avoid an approach. That's understood. Ocean Warrior docked in Amsterdam after a great maiden voyage. We are now back in our home port and we are just making some final adjustments to the deck. We welded the cradle back on the deck today. The uh, rib came yesterday that's now on board and we're just getting ready to move to the public dock on Monday at the MDSM wharf. And after that off to Australia, Sea Shepherd 11th Antarctica campaign against illegal fishing and obviously against illegal Japanese whaling, Operation Nemesis. Ocean Warrior going down under. Mm -hmm.